Wagon, Gerald McIver, Joe McKay, Joey Dixon, Lawrence Ross, and Robert Ross. Once again, Lane Fords in the JNR boat. They are Cross Lake Stallions. Now, for this race, just like the, um, the women's um, women's Pooby division, F from here, the starting point is going to be down a bank at um, Laffer's Point. These gentlemen are going to make their way all the way down towards um, um, Tire Island. Then from Tire Island, the gentleman will cross over towards um, Bull Island, which is about a good kilometer in between there. Then after they make their final turn off of Bull Island, they'll make their way back to the finish line, which is down the bank at the headquarters area. So we've still got plenty of um, plenty of ground here to cover. This will be a great race because um, this is the men's part. This race will probably actually go by pretty fast. That's what I think, but this is going to be a great one. Once again, tomorrow we'll um, be taking care of all the other races, all the other um, pool A finals there. And, um, We'll let you know more about that later on, all right? <laughs> but in the meantime, we're just waiting on, the, um, who are we waiting on? We are waiting on Gilbert Clark Memorial to get in line here. Gilbert Clark, and who else are we waiting on here? Who else are we waiting on? Okay, we got, uh, we got Cross Lake Stallions, and we do got um, Oxford House there in line. We're just waiting on our two Nori House teams there. Then this race will get started here. Once again, big shout out to Austin Apatagan and Nomad Media and to Robert Rideout for all the um, wonderful footage that will be um, that's being taken during um, all these York Road races. It's been such a great race. It's so glad to really um, have you guys um, included with our treating um, treating York Road days, um, York Road races of this year here. So um, once again, big shout out to Austin Apatagan, Nomad Media, to Robert Rideout as well there. So gentlemen, thank you guys once again. We'll get started with this race here momentarily.
And ladies and gentlemen, the races have started here. And too early to tell who's going to be taking the lead here, but uh, <laughs> guaranteed we'll be back with more coverage here throughout this um, Pool B finals for the Henry Mumanawada Memorial Race of 2023. <laughs> Yeah. And right now we got veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial and Gilbert Clark Memorial here. I'm um, trying to take the top spot there. They're kind of neck and neck, but from the way it looks from here, from the way it looks, it looks like um, Gilbert Clark Memorial's got the little slight lead over the um, veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. Coming up in third place right now, we got um, in the JNR boat. Cross Lake Stallions there. They got to look up, but maybe a good a foot, good four foot um, boat length lead against um, Oxford House's uh, um, Spirit Island Rowers here. Now, we all um, teams are just now crossing over the rock dock. We still got plenty of ways to go here. We still got to make our way down towards over to Tom Tire Island. From Tire Island, the gentlemen will cross over to Bull Island. Make the turn around Bull Island towards the finish line here. So we still got plenty of ways to go here, but right off the bat, all teams have been pulling hard, but. Again, right now, it, does, it does seem like that um, we got the Gilbert Clark Memorial taking a little slight lead over the veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. And again, third place is Cross Lake Stallions. Trailing behind Cross Lake Stallions about five, six feet are uh, um, Oxford House's Spirit Island Rowers. That's right, right here. There Again, stay tuned for more coverage here. I'll be back in a bit.
if you um, if you're still watching it on our YouTube page here, if you're watching, you notice here that veteran Thomas Duncan here, they got uh, something up their sleeves here. But uh, right now in the league, we got Gilbert Clark Memorial. Next in second place, we got veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial, and about uh, about eight both lengths behind both um, behind uh, veteran Thomas Duncan Duncan Memorial. We got Cost Lake Stallions and Spirit Island Rowers battling for that third spot. And uh, we're at the halfway point here. We're just passing RCMP point. Next stop, next stop, it will be um, next checkpoint will be um, Tall Tree Island, then uh, Tire Island. From there, t uh, gentlemen will turn around Tire Island, cross over towards Bull Island. They will make the turn from Bull Island all the way back to the finish line, which is down a bank at the headquarters area. So we still got plenty of ground to cover here. Plenty of um, plenty to still go on here, but. My, my, what's on my mind right now is I'm thinking what I'm wondering what uh, veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial have up their sleeve. They are planning something here. They're planning a big move here soon. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but oh man, guaranteed by the time we make that final turn around Bull Island, that's when everything is going to get interesting here. So keep watching, and I'll be back with more coverage in a bit.
And we got the Gilbert Clark Memorial here. There, um, they're still in first place right now. They're about uh, 200 yards away from making the first turn here at um, Tire Island, and about half a boat length behind um, Gilbert Clark Memorial or veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. They're going to be um, making their second. They'll be making the second team to make their first um, turn around uh, Tire Island. And trailing off to the back, they're coming up in third place are Cross Lake Stallions. And uh, just trailing a little bit behind Cross Lake Stallions are Oxford House Spirit Island Rowers, okay? You know, as um, the teams are about to make their first turn around um, Tire Island, I am going to read out our rosters. Again, coming up in first place are Gilbert Clark Memorial. They are Elmer Clark, Alan Gamblin, Brett Clark, Purvis Crumberty, Orville Simpson, Gregory Papanicus, Jopi Beardy, Anthony Simpson, Thomas Clark, Alex Balfour, and Travis Evans. Once again, they are Gilbert Clark Memorial. They're now about 100 yards away from making the first turn here at Tire Island. Half of both length behind Gilbert Clark Memorial are veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. They are Kenny Albert, Terry Edwikapu, Sean Bradburn, Wally Duncan, Miles Duncan, Ernie Edwikapu, Gabriel Towers, Albert, I mean, Alfred Albert, Real Carrier, Leslie McKay Jr., Larry Duncan, and Aiden Duncan. Once again, that's our second place right now. That's veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. Coming up in third place are Cross Lake Stallions. They are Brendan Ross, Jeremy Ross, Otis McLeod. Wait, give me a second. Again, that's Cross Lake Stallions. That's Brendan Ross, Jeremy Ross, Otis McLeod, Jeremy Monias, Clint McLeod, Jesse Miswagen, Gerald McIver, Joe McKay, Joey Dixon, Lawrence Ross, and Robert Ross. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching right now, we got veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial trying to take that inner lane. If they can catch that inner lane, they can um, actually catch up uh, or even, um, no, they couldn't do it, they couldn't do it, but they tried it. That was a close call, man. <laughs> that was a close call. Most of with all these races that happened there, anybody who's going to come, man, um, if one of the teams um, kind of made a big, long turn, it always gave somebody a chance to take that inner lane. Um, veteran Thomas Duncan tried to do that there, but they couldn't capitalize out on that there. Um, Gilbert Clark Memorial just uh, kept at a good pace there. <laughs> okay, so again, back to our lineup here. Um, as for our um, Oxford House Spirit Island Rowers, they are Weldon Chubb, Kerry Wood, Isaac Wienesk, Wayne Bradburn, Lee Greaves, Jamal Bradburn, Roger Wienesk, Darian Duncan, Miles Crane, Wayne Colon and Warren Colon. That's again Oxford House's Spirit Island Spirit Island Rowers. As for right now, give me a second, let me put this down here. There you go. Again, right now we got um veteran we got uh, Gilbert Clark Memorial here in a the lead there, but um slowly starting to creep up here is um veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. They're they're trying to make their move here towards um the um, towards the first place here spot right now. And we're still waiting on our, oh, we got, there you go. Yes, we, yes, it's confirmed. We do got uh, Cross Lake um, Stallions. They, uh, they do got a little slight lead, maybe about a good four feet, five feet lead against um, Spirit Island Rowers there. And they're about uh, 200 yards away from making the first turn at Tire Island. So they're um, actually quite, they're both teams are still quite a ways back there, way far back than our two um, top teams right now here. So we still got plenty of time here. We're getting close to the halfway point between Tire Island and um, Bull Island. Plenty of time from here, the gentleman will turn around Bull Island and make the final trek back to the finish line here. So that's when guaranteed everything is going to get interesting. Stay tuned, we're not, stay tuned, don't go anywhere, all right? Look at it! Get out of the ball, go away!
about our two top teams here. That's um, Gilbert Clark Memorial and um, veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial making their final turn here at um, Bull Island. These two top teams are going to be advancing, um, are going to be now making the final check to the finish line here. This is where everything's going to get interesting. As for our two teams, I can't really see them right now because um, Bull Island's in the way here. <laughs> but uh, last time I checked there, Cross Lake Stallions were coming up in third there. And uh, at that time, they're about two boat lengths behind Cross Lake Stallions were Spirit Island Rowers, okay? That's where, uh, that's where it is right now. Once again, our two top teams, that's Norrie House's Gilbert Clark Memorial and Norrie House's veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial are taking the two top spots right now. They're on their way back to the finish line here. Races have been good so far. Let's see if veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial has something up their sleeves because they were planning something earlier. Maybe now will be the time. We'll see. That's all I can say, man. I don't know what's going to happen here, but it is, this is getting more interesting now.
pressure that veteran Thomas Duncan tried to do. He just can't seem to um, catch up or pass the um, Gilbert Clark Memorial here, sir. But we still got plenty of ground to cover here. Right now, our races is about to, um, our two top teams are about to pass our CMP point here. We still got plenty of ways to go here, but uh, actually, we still got plenty of ways to go. But the way these guys are racing, we're going to get this sooner than later, man. Keep tuning in more. Keep tuning in for more.
time. We're just now officially crossing over Robbie's Island here. Train's turn of events here. Uh, veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial has made their move. They're now taking the top um, spot right now for this Pool B event here. And just chilling a little behind them are um, Gilbert Clark Memorial. As we look down there at the halfway point between Bull Island and um, Robbie's Island, we got Cross Lake Stallions there. And chilling behind him about, it looks like about maybe seven boat lengths behind Cross Lake Stallions are Oxford House's Spirit Island Rowers. That's where we're at right now here. We're getting closer to this finish line here, but once again here, veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. They have taken the um, top spot right now. We're about um, 200 yards away from crossing Lighthouse Island. We are getting closer to that finish line. This is going to be one great final tier, ladies and gentlemen. Keep tuning in.
ladies and gentlemen, we are closer now here. Our top team that um, just uh, made their final move there, that was uh, veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. They took the top spot here. We're at the halfway point at Forestry Island and chilling about a half a boat length. Maybe it looks like a good boat and a half length now are um, Gilbert Clark Memorial there. And as we look down, down the yonder there, we got Cross Lake Stallions, they're safely crossing over Robbie's Island there, and about four or five boat lengths behind Cross Lake Stallions are Oxford House's Spirit River Rowers. So that's where we're at right now here. Again, our two top teams, that's the veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial team taking the top spot here. They got a good, nice little lead against the Gilbert Clark Memorial. That's where we're at. We are getting close to this finish line here, ladies and gentlemen, getting close.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it here. Our um, Henry Mamanawada Memorial 2023 Pool B finalists, our veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. They took this heat for this year. Congratulations, gentlemen. Veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial are Kenny Albert, Terry Edwikapu, Sean Bradburn, Wally Duncan, Miles Duncan, Ernie Edwikapu, Gabriel Towers, Alfred Albert, Rial Carrier, Leslie McKay Jr., Larry Duncan, and Aiden Duncan. Once again, they're your first place finalists for the Pool B Finals for the Henry Moment Water Memorial. Coming up in second place were Gilbert Clark Memorial. They are Elmer Clark, Alan Gamblin, Brett Clark, Purvis Crumedy, Orville Simpson, Gregory Papanicus, Jopi Beardy, Anthony Simpson, Thomas Clark, Alex Balfour, and Travis Evans. Once again, your second place finalist for the Pool B Finals. And as we wait for the third and fourth place team, uh, it looks like we got Cross Lake Stallions here coming up in the third place spot. They are Brendan Ross, Jeremy Ross, Otis McLeod, Jeremy Monias, Clint McLeod, Jesse McSwagen, Jesse McSwagen, Gerald McIver, Joe McKay, Joey Dixon, Lawrence Ross, and Robert Ross. Again, it looks like they'll be our taking our third place spot for today. And trailing behind Cross Lake Stallions, about six boat lengths are Oxford House's Spirit Island Rowers. They are Weldon Chubb, Kerry Wood, Isaac Wienisk, Wayne Bradburn, Lee Greaves, Jamal Bradburn, Roger Wienisk, Darian Duncan, Miles Crane, Wayne Colin and Warren Colin. Again, they'll be looks like they'll be taking the fourth spot today here. So it's been great races for today. Don't don't worry that don't, don't forget. Tomorrow we will have our pool um pool A men's and pool A women's events, as well as the, um, the Gordon McKay 9 to 12 um co ed championship for tomorrow. We'll also be doing our team female and teen male category races from finals for tomorrow. So a lot of great races. You want to you don't want to miss those. But in the meantime, this is Kevin Tate here um, saying good night to you all folks. Hope you guys enjoyed the um, commentary as well as the wonderful footage that I'm taking of these races, courtesy of Austin at Patagon and Nomad Media, and especially to Robert Wright out there for his awesome drone work there. So um, it's really great to be um, having, having all of you guys um, be part of the races as they go along. And again, we'll hear from you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of our fest festivities during our 50th annual Treating York Boat Days. With that said and done, this is Kevin Tate saying good night, everyone. Good night.